what is going on guys today we are watching overlord season 4 episode 8 in the last episode we uh we made quick work of some dragons um well one dragon two dragons actually um i just made quick work much quicker work than i thought he was gonna be um the fact that initially it was one dragon i was like oh cool you know i just gonna like tame this dragon and then it like turned into four dragons and then those four dragons have 15 dragons underneath them um, so yeah, we got rid of the big dragon, showed them, showed them all who's boss, that being Ainz. Uh, then we got rid of another dragon because plot reasons, Ainz wanted some more dragon corpse parts. Um, and then yeah, we got a bunch of new dragons now working under us. Uh, Hegemal, I believe he is, is the kind of main dragon, um, just like Gondo is kind of the main dwarf. Um, you know, back to go later, later, back and forth really. Uh, between the, the two groups. Uh, seems like a cool character. Probably see more of him. Um, and then, yeah. Just uh, ended off the episode as well. Uh, as someone said in my comments. Ainz failing into success. Or something like that. Or falling into success. Sorry. Falling into success. Um, Demi Urge is like, wow. What a great leader. I can't believe he's thinking that so, that much far ahead. Funny as shit, honestly. The, the, the shit Ainz gets into. His luck meter is just off the charts. I don't know. Um, but yeah, very excited for this episode. So as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and I like the video as well. And uh, let's go into this episode right now. Jaldabo. That's a Demiurge, right? Dramatic birds. They're getting uh, hands in all the pots. Is that the expression? <laughs> Ah, uh, fucking nobles. Gotta please them if you're a uh, royalty and shit, eh? Oh, I hate drinking noises. Gosh. Who's this? Oh, it's this guy. Frickin' hell, man. I forgot about him. That, that dude on the left is definitely a Jojo character. Probably just staring at his top like, fucking... How dare he? Is that so? He's so just a professional brown noses. God. That's all this dude got to say. Exactly right. Look at every kingdom and all these nobles and everyone are just like really got to keep an eye on these uh, on the sorcerer kingdom. I mean the uh, the sorcerer kingdom is probably going to put up better shit, better quality shit, harder workers because they're undead. And how do you plan to do that? <laughs> For real, it sounds like it. Oh. <laughs> Yes, dragons. Let's go. Wait, what? Oh. Both of them are there. That's funny. So which one is... Uh, I, I guess in Ainz is Ainz. And Momon is uh, Pandora's actor. What's happening? Yeah? Is it by that freaking Baron? Yeah, of course it is. Who was transporting the goods? Just put a death knight with them or something. Well, it was a noble. Not specifically the kingdom. Did I do something? Yeah, bro, you're just taking over the whole freaking market. No. He's just a dumbass noble. Oh, it's her. He's got like a lie detector spell or something. Ooh, that's a good one. Fair enough. She has nothing to do with it, though. 
Oh, that's you. Damn. Ah, that's fair, yeah. It's a very roundabout way of thinking about it, but sure. She's like, hey, maybe my lord's not such a bad person. Or are they really threw her for a ball? Damn. <laughs> very reasonable uh, compared to the rest of the floor guardians. <laughs> Experience the pain of the whip. Oh my god. I mean, as long as he can get some of it out of you. Eins is probably a pretty fair ruler to work for. That might be a stretch. I don't know. As long as he doesn't... Well, she's already been tortured. But, you know. <laughs> I want to hear about it too. Of course. Good question, Jaltia. Yeah, that's exactly what he did. Yeah. No, he's more more than just an idiot. He's a mega idiot. It's another freaking like Death Knight Dragon situation going on. But Ainz is like, oh, maybe there's a player at hand, but everybody else here it thinks it's a player at hand. When Ainz is just like, no, he's probably just really dumb. <laughs> eh? Yeah, I mean, that's a Sorcerer King thing to do. Just kill them. Okay, that's a bit of a stretch. Very true. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Shaltia. This is why Demiurge is the, the main tactician, I think. I think he's the main. It could be, I mean, it could just be a 50-50 uh, mix between him and uh, Albedo, but I think he's more of the tactician. Oh, how can a man so smart be so dumb at the same time? <laughs> huh? Oh, Ainz, look what you've done. You need to speak up before these countries get wiped off the map. Oh boy, we're starting a war. Bro, this king looks awful. <laughs> Damn. Look at those allies. That freaking noble does not realize what he's caused. <laughs> yeah. Bro, they think it's... They, both sides think it's some, like, kind of ploy, like, deeper plan. And it's really just this noble being really fucking stupid. Jesus. Yeah, I'd say that's a good idea. An innocent noble. Bro's got what's coming to him, bro. Ainz works for the people. This royal family works for the nobles. I mean, Ainz works for himself. But, you know, he cares about everybody equally. Like he said about all different races, he's undead. He compares everybody equally. Yeah, he's spitting facts, apart from the innocent part. Yeah, and this is exactly what he said. These freaking uh, nobles just going to go off. Bro, you're letting your pride get in the way. You'll lose more lives if you don't submit to them. Oh, Albedo's come in. Oh, shit. We got an after credits thing. Bro, I'd laugh if she just fucking sniped him or something. Oh, that's his idea. His head compared to some random dumbass noble. Jesus Christ, dude. Do you not like your life that much? 
Bro. I don't know what... I, I don't know what good it, that is going to do. Like, if anything, it's going to probably put the Sorcerer Kingdom at more of an advantage. His son, who would then, you know, kind of fully become king, more than likely, will be like, yeah, no, let's just become a vassal state, probably. I don't fucking... I, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, my God. I, I think that's way too extreme of an idea. Especially, like, yeah, some random fuck-off noble did something stupid. Give them his head. They don't even know the full situation. Get the Baron in. Let him explain what happened. Kill him. God. What a, that, wow, what an interesting end to the episode right there. Um, yeah, overall, very good episode. Very political. Um, but uh, we're on the brink of war. Potentially. Um, here. Obviously, like, it was really cool seeing, like, the letter and all the seals of the different kingdom and stuff that were backing them that felt like, bro, the Sorcerer Kingdom has hands everywhere. Um, eyes everywhere, hands everywhere. Really cool. I'm very excited to see this, um, how this is going to go now. I think it's only 12 episodes this season of uh, Overlord, I believe. Uh, 13. 13 episodes. So we've got uh, four episodes. One, two, three, five episodes left. Um, after this, I'm very excited for that. Um, yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching uh, this week and uh, my reaction, of course. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.